Okay, it's showing you here, this is iPhone 11 Pro, iOS 13.7, and that is iOS 14. It's actually the same phone, I just updated the software later on. This is more raw and analytical than my usual videos, but I hope it helps. If so, give it a like and subscribe for more. So I'm recording how long it's taking to turn on the phone. I'm hoping iOS 14 loads less, but that is never the case when it's the next year's phone. Whenever you update your, your phone, it usually gets slower. These are great surprising results. Startups usually slow down on a major update. In this case, it's the other way around. Control center, your notifications. Hey Siri, what's, what's the, the weather, weather in, Los in Los Angeles? It's currently it's clear currently and 70 degrees. degrees. Expect temperatures are fairly consistent. In the morning. Today's high will be 71 degrees. degrees. Hey Siri, what's, what's the, the weather, weather tomorrow, tomorrow in Los, Los Angeles? Angeles? I'm just going to tap the phone to wake it with my face in front of the phone so it automatically unlocks it. Um, let's see which one's faster. Look out for the lock icon there. Let's see if apps need to reload more on iOS 14.
do the Geekbench test, we gotta clear out all the apps. Now let's use Geekbench 5 to test the phone's processor. I'll speed it up for us here. Scores are never exact per test, so it's always approximate. All right, so it looks like they're both around the same with both single core and multi-core around average. To me, the new features are worth the update. Keep in mind, this is the first release of iOS 14, so there will be bugs. I mean, recording this on voice memos ran into so many problems, but generally not as bad as last year. Something to consider. At least you get one impression of the performance of iOS 14. I really hope this helped. If so, give it a like and subscribe for more.